Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today. If you are new here, my name is Richard Royster, Associate Principal Lafayette High School, and I'm here with a couple of our wonderful <laughs> students. I'm here with Shannon on the far right and Elizabeth right next to me. These are our marching band state champions, 21st title. Stay tuned for a voiceover. We're gonna describe and talk about the show. All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to see the show here in just a minute. Stay tuned. But first, I want to ask these guys, just tell us about the show this year. What was the show about? What was it like, Shannon? So the show is entitled Seeking Refuge this year. And basically, throughout the show, we're traveling through time in a cathedral. And so the music starts off with a Gregorian chant, which dates back all the, like, really far away to a mo more modern music. And that's really cool in a sense that a cathedral, the cathedral is the constant and it stays the same throughout the show, which was really interesting. And in the beginning, we're shielded with our sunglasses, which is a, we're kind of shielded by a reality of what we're living in today. And at the end, we end up taking those off because we finally seek our refuge, so yeah. Well, it was a powerful show. Elizabeth, yeah. what about the show? Tell us about the show. Um, well, the, from a color guard standpoint, we're like, the the band is like trying to capture us and like and we're the uh like kids i guess that's still because we don't have sunglasses so we still have that um like child like brain where we don't really necessarily think of like what's going on we still have that like um the drive to like i don't know just like we have the mind of a child and so the band's trying to like capture us and they create all these forms around us like circles and we're trying to get out and at the end we um all create this like big block and the band takes off their sunglasses and that's whenever we're um really set free well it was definitely an emotionally powerful show so here we go check out the show at the beginning of the performance there was a technical issue what was the technical do you have any idea what the technical issue was because there was eight minutes of dead time and the, yeah. and the people the parents were like freaking out so there was a compute. There was an issue with the computer that we were using to produce the sound off of the synthesizer, and actually the synthesizer, which is the keyboard in the pit, they didn't have power. Yeah. So whenever they would press the keys down, there no sound would come out. So they had to end up switching computers, and luckily we had one backed up and booted up and ready to go. So we were able to get that together. Who's, was that a technical issue on our end or a technical issue on the organizer's end? Um, I would say on our end because it was our personal computer we were oh, using okay. and um, our sound system. So, I mean, it was nobody's fault, but it was... Right, it just happens. It just happens. Technical glitches. Yeah. And, but you were prepared and ready to go. Yeah. Well, sure. that's, that's really good because um, it was eating up a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and people were getting nervous and everybody's standing around, all the kids are standing around the field cramping up. Yeah. Um, so tell us about the setup, the initial setup. Um, we all spread around all over the field. What's what's going on necessarily? Um, so at the very beginning, uh, the band is around us, and then they start co coming in, and they interact with the pe the color guard. And so some of the band members will um, come up to us and throw us on the ground or drag us around. And then there's also some moments where the color guard is together and they're trying to fight for each other and because um, like they're in this together and then the person in the middle she's like rounding all of them all up and just trying to like get everyone safe before the band fully comes so the band is they're rounding up the color guard essentially is what's going on here yeah tell me about the music that's that's going on right so now. right here so right here is basically our big hit and this is the start. So this is movement one, and this movement is very violent sounding with the dissonant chords. And uh, later on, we're transitioned into movement two and movement three, which is a more soft um, piece of music. But right now, this is a really fast and violent type of tempo and music right now. So. Well, it, the music really set the tone, I think, even more so than last year's show, which mm -hmm. I thought was fabulous. <laughs> the music 
it was hitting on all cylinders back then. Yeah. Was there any difficulties that y'all had doing um, our put first, together music? Our first big hit, which is um, basically the first big note we all played together, um, it was hard to get that matched up because um, people were running from their from the corners and going to their first set, and that was hard to match up with the drum line and the pit and everybody together. But we ended up getting a really good uh, close to the end of the that's awesome. Well, it's the hard work has definitely paid off. Um, Elizabeth, tell us about the color guard here going on here. I've seen some really good um, rifle moves in the yeah. front here, and, and it, it just what's going on with the color guard. Tell me about the tell me about the season and the practice and the work that y'all put in. Um, well, this year was definitely a growing year for us because um, a lot of us were new, and we had seven new weapons, which is like extremely hard to get them all trained to wear. Um, two other people were and so they like stepped up to the plate extremely well and um the flags there was a bunch of new people too and i'd say the morale of this color guard was so much more happy than what i've seen in a like in a, with my four years of being in the lafayette color guard and it was just so fun to uh interact with different people and see how far we've come because everyone is so new tell me about the fun in marching band what is it that really makes it y'all work so hard that i could see where people would be like this is too much yeah. but you i mean we have a 200 piece marching band with the color guard over mm -hmm. but y'all have so much fun tell me tell me about that what makes it so fun um well none of us in this show particularly were just marching our show and playing the music we all had an individual piece in the band that we had to do like moving props or setting up the tart or anything like that that comes with the technicality side of things. And that just makes it fun because you have these little crews that you get to bond with during rehearsal and stuff like that. And I think that part made it a lot special this year. Elizabeth, what about you? Um, it was just really fun because Color Guard has night rehearsals and it's not with the band. And during that time, it's just like the instructors normally are extremely like excited to be there and to teach us and it's just really fun to get to bond with a bunch of new people and get close to the section you're in so like the sabers got really close the rifles got close and then the flags got close and then like as a whole we were we we're all pretty close so it was just fun to get spend so much time together tremendous camaraderie in these small groups mm -hmm. throughout the bands well the hard work, the teamwork, the, the passion that y'all bring to it clearly, clearly shows. Mm -hmm. All right, tell us a little bit more about the show at this point. What's going on in the show at this point? So <clears> right <throat> here, we're approaching the end of Movement 2, and right here you can see the two drum majors about to switch, and that was because um, we have these little chamber ensembles. We have like solos and uh, quartets all throughout, and right now we're starting Movement 3, which will be the final movement of our show. And um, this piece, I think, determined whether or not we were going to have a good season because it's just so good. <laughs> and we absolutely killed this movement for sure. So, yeah, that's, what ha that's what's happening right now. So there's a little bit of controversy behind the show, Seeking Refuge. Tell me a little bit about the controversy behind the show. Uh, but then how did the band approach that? Um, some of the controversy was just like, it was just like, I don't know, it was just like... Some people tried to politicize it. Yes. Yeah. And and that's not what it was no, meant to be. No, that wasn't what it was meant to be at all. And I think that um, the design, it also, like, it helps a lot to show that it's not political. It's just like trying to make a statement more than, mm -hmm. like, picking sides or whatever. And, um... This flag work is awesome. Yeah, I don't think, like, I, the color guard didn't see it as political. And I don't know about the band. Yeah, it definitely didn't split us up into two different sides or anything like that. It was more of like a... It, it, we came together in the sense that we were all seeking our own kind of refuge and we could all relate to that in a certain way and it didn't have to be a p political statement even though some people viewed it in that way. But I think we were all trying to relate to the show and we all eventually did. So that was really powerful. So, you're both seniors. Mm -hmm. You've been in a marching band. This is your you completed just completed your fourth season. Mm -hmm. Twenty one state championships um, in the, in the career of Lafayette High School. Tell us a, what was special about the wins this year as your 
heading out as seniors and the, uh, the four years you've been in the bubble? Well, our freshman year, we got third place at state finals. Mm, and it was a tough year. Yeah, so we've seen it all, basically. We've seen what it's like to lose, unlike classes that are younger than us, so we know how important winning can be and how that can bring us really close together. But it's also not the most important thing, and we definitely were on the, on the field to try our best and move it all on the field instead of winning, but the experience of winning three state championships and winning VOA this year was amazing, and I couldn't be prouder of everyone there. All right, so the show is wrapping up. We've got mm -hmm. the cathedral put together over here. What's going on in the show over here? Um, well, we're just trying to get all together. So the, the band is in closing on the cathedral and like the, the square is. And then the color guard, we're all starting to form this block and we're um, starting to come together. And this one girl, she actually goes in the cathedral and gets on top of this um, band member's yeah, shoulders. And that just shows that we're finally unified and we're all, all whole. Wow, mm -hmm. very powerful show, very powerful ending. Uh, the crowd was just hooting and hollering. Yeah. <laughs> it was a tremendous, it was a tremendous performance here. Thank you. And uh, without the stress at the beginning, though, it was, <laughs> yeah. was there anything different about the finals uh, than in the semifinals? But this is the semifinal performance, and here we are, we're wrapping up, we're rushing off the field. Anything different about the final? Uh, well, our sound system actually worked for the finals, <laughs> which was good, so... Um, yeah, that was basically the main difference. Well, congratulations that you came in the show. Thank, Thank you so much. Much. Thank you both. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you've made it this far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and support the channel. Share and like this video. Also, check out this video right over here. I picked it out. I think you were going to like it. There's a mystery video picked out by YouTube right down here. Check it out as well. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you in the next video.